Hey there, Jed Corbinus here with the Exercise Physiology Show. Uh, I'm an exercise physiologist, um, former fat kid, and basically life, I don't know if you want to call it life coach, I'd give it that. Um, we work a lot, of, a lot about mindset and, and basically anything else that you would have any questions on, I feel like I can answer. And the other thing I guess I do, I feel like I sift through a lot of the shit out there. Sorry to say it, but there's a lot of shit out there as far as health and wellness claims and products and junk, right? It's just a lot of shit. So, I mean, what's good for you, what's not good for you, healthy, unhealthy, all that fun stuff. I don't believe in that. I believe in everything in moderation with some exceptions but um, you know you know if something's healthy you do you just choose not to accept you know what that is or what that looks like um, I'm also a volunteer firefighter if anybody doesn't know that uh, I believe in giving back to the community why I bring that up on episode 13 that's beyond me I don't know but I'm not outside of anything. <clears throat> I'm human, we're all human. We all make mistakes, we all have success, we all are the answers to our own problems, we just choose not to be. So we look for other people, and that's okay. You can look for inspiration, but be, be motivated right here. Right here, okay? Right where it counts, and within yourself. So we're gonna continue sitting it all the way through the 12 ways you lie to yourself about your weight um, we got three down okay all right so the next one would be I eat healthy all week right I eat healthy all week so I can indulge I can indulge on the weekend so I guess what they're saying is no you you can't follow a healthy diet during the work week and then go and go hog wild on Saturday and Sunday without gaining weight. Um, I agree with that to a certain extent, right? You gotta have what I think is a cheat day, but don't go too crazy, right? I mean, I think the cheat day that's built in to a, to any program, which the automatic body program, right? I'll plug it. If you're using it, great. If you're not, it's okay. It's all free anyway. But, um, you know, ask whoever invited you here about that. If you don't have that, ask me about it. Um, really what it comes down to is being pretty structured, but then having one day where you don't. Because your body and your mind, if you get too structured, you get bored with it. And then you, you completely stop. So that's you know basically why there's a built-in cheat day. It makes you feel like there's spontaneous, spontaneous activity, right? Um, it's a, it's a really big deal for your mind to feel that because you completely get bored. You want to just have that whole bowl of ice cream and have some pizza and possibly have a beer or grab uh, a pop or you know some oh man I'm gonna do something wild and crazy today and then it just stacks on top of each other and then the next day you feel like crap and then you probably grab it again and again and again and again and then you wind up right where you're at and gain all that weight back and feel like shit to begin with not good right not good okay so have a cheat day Build it into your schedule. Grab that automatic body app. The automatic body program is all free. Use the product or not, whatever. I don't really care, but use the use the the app. You know, find something that works for you. Okay. So the next one. I worked out today so I can have this bowl of ice cream. <laughs> I like this one. Because no, it does not mean that. It means that you either broke even or you're creating a caloric deficit. Okay? 
What's really funny is they say this is awesome. No amount of exercise will overcome a high calorie diet, says this doctor, what have you, from you know, wherever and whatever. It's just funny because this topic I think is probably one of the most that'll piss me off if anybody would would like to debate me on it. Because you can never, and I dare say never, you should never say never, right? But I dare say never. You should never try to out-exercise or out-train your eating habits. You will never out-train your eating habits or high caloric intake, okay? Ever, it's not possible. 80% it's 80% nutrition, 10% movement, and 10% genetics. That's what your body's built of. And before I even started doing that, I was, you know, I was generally healthy, but I wasn't as, I don't think I, you know, I was in pain still. I was, you know, I had probably, 18% body fat, maybe 15 at my really good times, but now, you know, I average about 10% body fat, and yeah, I feel really good. Why? Because it is. It is 80% nutrition, and as soon as you grasp onto that, that your eating is what's holding you back, well, this too, right? It's a lot of narrative going on that, oh, I can't, right? Which leads me to the next one, I like this, is my mom's fat. So no matter what I do, I'm always going to be overweight too. Hmm, what's really crazy is there's some, this says, there's some research that does show a genetic link to obesity, but in most cases, lifestyle trumps genetics. I agree with that. You know, some, right? Some links to obesity, whatever. Those are anomalies that I think the media hype up. I think that, oh man, this woman had, it's just the one out of like, I mean, I, these aren't real statistics, but let's just say it, one out of a million people, um, you know, later dare to say again they're not real statistics statistics but the one that oh man okay so and then it, it instills fear the media instills fear you're gonna be obese because your parents or what it no it's lifestyle okay um, as, soon, as soon as you can get that in your head and say I am worth it you know the eight words I am I can I will I believe those are those are big deals, okay? Those are huge deals. For you to understand that, for you to really grasp onto that, just because your parents are the way they are does not mean you have to be the way they are. You can break free. You can start changing your mindset, start changing little things. One small change philosophy makes it, okay? So, how? How do you start making these changes? Well, there's the steering wheel, <laughs> sorry. The, um, it all comes down to the one small change philosophy. It all comes down to if you are willing to change from the neck up, you will change from the neck down, okay? That's where you should start. Eight words, I am, I can, I will, I believe. That's it. I am Jed Coberts. I can do whatever I put my mind to. I will hold my words as truth and law, and I believe. That's it. Okay, so we knocked a few, knocked, what, three more out this time. I only keep these about 10 minutes long because I know we don't have a lot of time every day. And I want to respect that. So 10 minutes a day, I'll pretty much just go Monday through Friday. Um, and I just appreciate you. And I hope you start to believe in you. Because you have to know I believe in you. That's how it works. It all starts right here. If you're willing to change from the neck up, 
you will change from the neck down. In your eight words, I am, I can, I will, I believe. Invite anybody to the Exercise Physiology Show. And if you have any questions, let me know. I will answer them for you right here. Have a great day. Believe in yourself. Bye for now.